Hello everyone, in the last video of the week, we are going to talk about uh, proving whether triangles are similar or not. So we are working on an Excel P12 for this assignment. It's the last week of the, the last assignment of the week. So let's see what we need to prove. You need to prove that two triangles are similar and the statements that we are looking for when we have this sort of a uh, statement, the reasons that we are looking for are angle, angle, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, these sort of things. That's what we are looking for. Sometimes in some resources, instead of angle, angle, you may see angle, 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 or true play. Okay, let's get to it and see what we are doing. We have one side, RT over RU equals RS over RV. So if RT over RU is the same as rs over rv we have two pairs of sides being proportional there are two pairs of sides in here four sides makes up two pairs so two pairs of sides and then there is one pair of angle in the second step so my let's just check this out i have two pairs of sides and one pair of angle Let me just get rid of this keyboard on the screen. Okay, thank God. So, two pairs of sides, one pair of angle. There's only... Why cannot I just... Okay, let me see if I do this. Okay, that works. So, this would be my answer for this question. Because Let me just uh, highlight the sides once again on the figure. RT, RU. RT over RU equals RS over RV. This means these two sides are proportional, RT and RU. Let's see, RT is over here. And RU, I cannot even put the same symbol over here. Let's just do it this way. And then let's use another set of symbols. They're not supposed to be the same. For RS on R and RV. RS is right here. And RV. Okay, the red sort of colors are similar. The bluish blues are similar. That's two pairs of sides. Once again, these are my pairs. Two pairs of sides. And then, right in the middle of them. I know it's going to be right in the middle. Because it should be. It doesn't make any sense if it's not. Uh, let's identify these two angles. URV is right here. And then SRT. Start from S, go to R, and then go to T. The one in the middle is your angle. Right here. Look at the pattern in both of the triangles. They are exactly the same. This right here, there's one side, angle, and then other side. Right here, side, angle, side. So my answer for this question would be side angle side and let's move on to the next question. Okay, so there is at least one pair of angles in here, I and F. So my answer should have at least one A in it. It could be this one here or it could be that one. Let's see what else is given in the question. Do I have two more pairs of sides or do I have one more pair of angle in the question on the statement side? So this right here, GFH, is the same as angle I. It's already on the, tri uh, on the figures. With the red symbols, it's already given on the figure. Step 2 gives me another angle pair, which is angle H equals to itself. Angle H belongs to the small triangle and it also belongs to the big triangle. So it belongs to this right here and it belongs to that one over here, angle H. So in these two triangles, we have two pairs of angles that are being equal. One is given in step one. The second one is given in step two. 
So my answer for this one would be angle angle. Similarly, the statement. Moving on to the next level. Okay, I already have one pair given. I, I see that angle S and V are the same. That's my first A. Uh, the second A comes in from the second step. Angle T equals to itself right here. That's my second angle pair. So this one here would be triangles are similar because there are two pairs of congruent angles in both of these triangles it, uh, re that results in uh, similar triangles. Next question. Okay, this is good. It at least has more than one uh, answer that we can pick. Okay, so for each box first, I will talk about it. I will write on the screen and then probably it's going to disappear so I can make selections out of the lists. So this one here, I really hope that you know what this one is going to be. When you have an angle pair, angle equals to itself or a side equals to itself, what is that called? Let's, let me just show you the list uh, over here so you can make your selection. Algebra, reflexive property of congruence or equality, substitution, transitive property of congruence or equality. These are your options. So. First thing you need to realize is we do not have an equal sign. We do have congruence symbol. So our answer must have this, this word over here. And it's not transitive property. I didn't pick that one. It was just my, I was just scrolling up and down and then this happened. So it is going to be reflexive property of congruence. So let me just try to pick that one. Reflexive property of congruence over here. Okay. So this would be the answer. Reflexive property means if a thing equals to itself. That's called reflexive property. And we do not have an equal symbol in step two. That's why it is not of equality. It is reflexive property of congruence. Now, step three. Let's see what two angles we are talking about because there are, as far as I remember, two different properties, two different reasons that can give us something that looks like uh, three. So, we need to identify the angles first. But looking at step 3 and 4, I could say that this is going to be the answer. I, I, I think that the definition of supplementary angles is going to be the answer, but we need to make sure. So, let's check the angles out. If it is talking about this angle, before I start solving the question, and that angle in step 3 or 4, this is definition of supplementary angles. Also, if it is talking about this right here and that right here, it's talking about definition of supplementary angles because when you add these two, it makes up 180 degrees. When you add these two, they make up 180 degrees. That's how you can tell how to pick whichever you want to pick. Now let's locate the angles. PTS. I'm doing this one here. Start from P, go to T, and then go to S. Uh, PTS, the one in the middle is T, that's my angle. I'll change the color for PTQ. Start from P, go to T, and then Q. Now the one in the middle is T, that's talking about this angle. As I mentioned earlier, since it's talking about these two angles over here, it is definition of supplementary angles. So I go here, open the drop down menu, and then pick definition of supplementary angles. Okay, let's get rid of the keyboard. Done. Now, there is one more thing that we need to figure out in step 6. So, it says PTS, angle PTS, the measure of angle PTS. Let's just read it in the proper way. Measure of angle PTS equals to measure of angle Q. So, let's see why we can end up with that one. If you look at step 5, do you see anything that you can cancel out such as PTQ on each side? When you subtract PTQ from both sides, you're going to end up with step 6. On the left you will have PTS, on the right you will have Q, they are going to be equal to each other. So what we are doing in here is called subtraction. or 
in some resources, you will see only addition that you can pick. Or it'll say algebra. It could be either one of these three. You're not going to have all of them together. It should be only one of them. Algebra, subtraction, or addition. If you have all three of them, you should pick subtraction because that's the one that makes most the most sense. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see if subtraction is an, op is an option. No, there's no subtraction. Substitution is not what I'm looking for. Let's see. I, I keep seeing that algebra, but I just want to show you that it doesn't say addition. It says additive property of length. That's a different property. So the, the only one that we can pick is algebra. So that would be the answer to this one. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope that the video helped you out. If you think so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can get notifications whenever I share another video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in another video.